Listen, in 1886, let me give you an example of how this can happen. In 1886, an old preacher named D.L. Moody, he held a month-long Bible camp in Mount Hermon, Massachusetts. 251 college students went in 1886 to this month-long Bible camp. And uh, during that camp, on day 10, he preached a message that says all should go to all. Now, that didn't peg anybody going specifically, all you need to go to Africa, all of you need to go to Asia. Uh, It's all should go to all. Some of you need to go to Africa and Asia, but all should go to all. That means all should go to all. You go to your domain. That was day 10. Day 20, he brought up 10 different guys from 10 different countries to talk about what God was doing in their country. That ignited a movement. And by the end of that month, 100 of the 251 college students that came signed a commitment card and said, I will go to the nations. I'm going to pack up, I'm going to sail, I'm going to move out, and I'm going to go to the nations. That was that, that 100 of the 251 within one month. Then two guys from Princeton had the audacity to, to quit school and start traveling around the United States visiting college campuses. They visited 167 campuses in one year. And by the time they were through in that one year, that number had went from 100 to 2,000 college students said, we're out of here. We're going to the ends of the earth to make God famous in the ends of the earth. Now, by five years, 6,100 college students and seminary students had said, we're gone. In less than 60 years, by 1945, 20,500 men and women quit their jobs finished school and made it successfully to the mission field because of what started in 1886 because a hundred college students said, dude, we're, we're serious about this. 20,000 in less than 60 years. And folks, listen, that's in 1886. They didn't have the internet and cell phones, jet planes. They didn't have all the stuff. Now imagine today, imagine today How many people are in the kingdom because of what happened in 1886, because of a vision and a movement? Imagine how many people. And imagine how that family tree just keeps growing. You might even be a part of that family tree somehow as it just kept branching and growing. Imagine what can happen if one-fifth of one percent of all Christians say, man, I'm out of here. I'm going, I'm going to live in Thailand. I'm going to live in Brussels. I'm going to live in India. I'm going to live in Rwanda. I'm going to live, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. But 99.8 of you just said, dude, I'm going, I'm going into my workplace tomorrow. I'm going into my school tomorrow. I'm going into my neighborhood. I'm going to live sent. I'm going to make God's name famous. I, I'm going to make sure he's exalted among the nations and he is exalted in the earth. Imagine what could happen. That's why we're ascending church. That's why you need to live sent. That's why we need more missionaries, not just members. That's what we're calling you to do.